x equals y square over 4. I asked to make y the solid formula. Now, feel free to pause this video and see if I can attempt it. Okay, so let's do it together. Firstly, you can do cost multiplication. So when you do identify how for x equals y square, remember we want to make y the solid formula. So to do that, you square both sides. Right, so this square, we can't do square root. We're now left with y equals square root of 4x. But we don't stop here. This is not the final answer. Because 4 has a square root. So all you have to do is separate the square root. Another way you can express this using the sort rule is when you separate the bracket, same thing as square root of 4 times square root of x. All right, so 4 has a square root. And square root of 4 is what? 2. So our final answer would be y equals plus or minus 2 root x. Okay, so that would be the answer. Of which usually you take the positive sign which is 2 root x, all right? But leave the answer like this, okay? So that's how you can solve this kind of problem. Now, let's write this and uh, look at one more part of this question. And after it, we can call it a class. Okay, now, what if you are giving something like this? You have x equals y over y minus z. I ask to make y the subject formula. As usual, Okay, if the cost multiply, you're going to have x in bracket y minus z equals what y. I want to make y the solid formula. So when you simplify it, you're going to have x y minus x z equals y. Since we want to make x the our y rather the subject formula. Okay, so when you factorize or before you factorize, let's call it like terms. Very important. So when you call it like terms, you're going to have minus x z or let's do it this way so it will be at the safe side so this y will cross over the equality sign here and it will change to a negative y so you're going to have x y minus y equals this minus x z will cross over change the plus x z you're going to have x z so at this juncture let's factorize when you factorize you're going to have y in brackets x minus 1 all right equals xz so finally to make y the solid formula divide both sides by x minus 1 so that we're going to have y back at x minus 1 over x minus 1 equals xz over x minus 1 okay so this will cancel this and finally our result will be y equals xz over x minus 1 so that's all for this question. This is basically you can deal with problems involving change of solid formula. So we learned something interesting from this video. Now, if you are new to the channel, ensure you check the description of this video below for links to our Telegram channel. Click on it and join our Telegram channel for instant notifications. Also ensure you are subscribed to this channel by hitting the subscribe button for more videos like this. Like, share, and comment on this video. Tell me how you feel. Once you learn from this class, if you seem to have any specific questions asked regarding this topic feel free to leave a question in the comment section below and i'll be sure to give you a response now check the end screen above click on it and i will see you in the next video thanks for watching